What's up all you cool snakes and neonates? We've got an awesome episode for you guys today. Loads of new stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into that intro and I'll see you on the other side. So as you can see behind me here, Kirsten's built a new rack for our bugs and beasties. We've got a lot of new bugs and beasties planned coming and just organising and there's going to be loads of bugs and beasties coming on this channel in the future. So we've got our roaches, we've got our pyragalis, we've got, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, we've got a new spider and we've got a new snake. So, but before we get into that, I got some new kit as well. So let's go and take a look at what I got and why I got it. So guys, we got some new equipment for the channel. So you guys know I got the new phone. Um, phone's camera's really good under light, but under like sort of nighttime under the lights of the house, it's a little bit grainy. It's a little bit sort of fuzzy. So I went and bought some new kit for it. I don't, I don't know if the tripod's going to be any good, but I got a light and I got a mic. We've got a mic, so we got a boom mic. So yeah, let's get this all put together. Oh look, it's fancy. That's actually fancy. That's cool. Look at that. Proper on/off on the mic and everything. That's going to be really cool. So we're going to get this set up. We're going to check it out, and um, yeah, we'll get some before and after shots of with and without it, and see if it makes a huge difference. But that is really cool. Woo! Yeah. Awesome. So unfortunately, the mic didn't work. Um, I tried the mic, I don't know if it's the phone or if it's the adapter bit because it's one of the new phones where you need an adapter, it's not got the aux bit or whatever, that stupid thing. So I think it's maybe the aux bit. So we're gonna order a new aux bit and see if we can get that new mic to work. You guys have commented a couple of times the sound not being right. I myself, when I'm editing, find that the, the sound is very quiet. So what I've done here, of course I've got the new light on this, so I've ditched the mic for now, we've got the light on the new tripod, and I've taken the cover off of the phone just in case that's muffling the mic, because I know when I'm on phone calls, it muffles the speaker for the phone calls, so I can barely who, hear who I'm on the phone to. So we have done away with this, the, we've done away with the case and we've got a new light on there to sort of improve the lighting in the picture. We're also playing about with the camera settings on the phone too, all that high definition, 30 and 60 frames per second, all that kind of stuff. So we're playing with them. So the next few episodes we're going to be playing about you guys. Let me know if you see an increase in the quality and if you think the videos are getting better in quality. I'm hoping they are because I'm spending money for you guys to try and bring you guys a better quality of video. So that's the new kit. We've got a new tripod, a new light and hopefully once I sort it out we'll have a new mic as well and we'll get a better quality sound. Um, I definitely want to get the mic working for any outdoor filming so the, the muffler will reduce any noise, uh, wind noise and all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at the new animals. We'll go spider first. So this little cutie is our new curly hair tarantula. We've named her Curly Whirly, the curly hair tarantula. She's going to be used for the kids parties and all that kind of stuff. We're playing with the camera settings here and that looks a hell of a lot better than it did a second ago. So this is Curly Whirly, the curly hair tarantula. Now you can see the end of her abdomen right there is sort of scabby looking, it's missing fur. So she's going into molt. Um, we're waiting patiently for her to come out because she's absolutely lovely. We did handle her when we got her home, as you can see here. But um, yeah, when they're in molt and stuff, you kind of want to leave them alone, let them go through it and not pest them. Kind of just like when a snake is shedding, you want to let them get through it kind of thing. So I want her to do that because I really want to get her, um, use her for uh, the educational shows and things like that that I do. So that's awesome. But yeah, that is Curly Whirly, our new curly haired tarantula. Isn't she absolutely beautiful? So this one Kirsten named, I named the tarantula 
nurses named this one, and she got the name to a T. So this is a Banana Cali King Snake, or a Banana California King Snake. Now, the patterning on it looks sort of high white or reduced pattern. I'm not a huge morph guy, there'll be probably some morph person out there that will tell me exactly what this is. But I got it from the shop as a Banana um, Cali King, and to say I'm in love with this snake is an absolute understatement. I handle her like two, three times a day. Um, as you guys know, I've got Burmese pythons, I've got Argentinian black white tegu, I've got true red tail boas, um, Dumbrell's boat is really unusual snakes, but I am just genuinely in love with this little worm like you would not believe I love this little thing. She's so pretty and um, I just went into the shop for moss and um, much to Kirsten's dismay I came home with a new snake <laughs> and um, I went in for moss and I just made a joking little comment I was like I, have, I, I, was like, I quite fancy another California King because the second snake I ever bought and the first snake to ever bite me was a California King uh, No, a Florida King snake. Sorry and um, she, jo she she was like, yeah, we have about 20 of them in, sh in store. So she sh showed me all 20 of them. And just something about this girl, as soon as I seen her, I just fell in love. I was like, that's beautiful. I was like, that is a stunning snake. Um, to me, especially the Kali Kings, with those like vertical stripes down the, the mouth and the face, they almost look like they should be venomous. You know, if you were to show this to a, a non-snake person and tell them this snake was venomous, they wouldn't know the difference, I don't think. They just look absolutely fantastic. I've been looking for a really cool collaborate to add to the, the channel for a little while. As you guys know, I'm, I'm on the hunt for a Voega dendrophilia and all that kind of cool stuff. But I've been on the look for something just pretty cool but pretty reasonable just to fill that gap in the channel because there's nothing but boards and I want to bring you guys some diversity that's why we're getting spiders and things there's going to be more different insects coming I'll keep you uh, you guys will see that when it comes well there's going to be some really interesting bugs coming and um, but as you guys know all my boas and boids are quite interesting but there's only so many boas and boids you can get and I really want to get an interesting call of it and she is just uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments let me know and hit me up what you guys think but she is beautiful now this light in this camera, I've just been having a look at the sort of, we've been looking at the high definition of this camera stuff and I'm hoping that combined with this light you guys are seeing what I'm seeing and I'm hoping that it comes out the other side of the editing app because my editing app often reduces the quality and makes things look horrible and it really bugs my happiness because right now on the phone, the footage I'm getting with the snake is, and with the spider we've had, have been absolutely beautiful so I'm hoping we can get that on YouTube. Um, because she is stunning and this camera is actually picking it up it actually reduces she's got a yellow tinge to her side and if any of you younger viewers remember when you were kids and you had those glow in the dark um moons and stars stuck to your bedroom roof and um, she looks like that in certain lights she looks like she's glowing in the dark in certain lights in a sort of slight shade she's just absolutely stunning with that reduced sort of blotch pattern and as you guys can see she actually has a pretty perfect skull on her head um, it's almost like a sugar skull, it's like a crying skull or something on her head which just adds to her beauty I think is just really unique and really cool and yes I see you. Such a calm king as well, I mean she's such a joy to handle. You guys know I give my snakes about 24 hours to calm down after getting them home. I mean fair enough she only travelled about 5 minutes in the car from the shop to the house but within about 7 hours or something like that um, seven, eight, nine hours, I had her back out again and she was just like this and she'd never really, she was so young and um, the shopkeeper didn't like snakes, believe it or not, the reptile uh, shopkeeper didn't like snakes and um, so she'd never been handled and she is just a gem, we've had her about a week now she's fed on a pinky um, she actually didn't see the pinky so I gave her two pinkies uh, I'll put her up to fluffs as soon as I can but she's smashing food already, she's pooped already She's an absolute joy to handle. She's always active. I absolutely love this snake. She's a really good um, addition to the house. She's got that sort of pure black belly on her too as well, which is pretty cool. Normally they have like a checkered belly, the California King. So hers is like a tire track. She's like a reverse tire track. Did you get the tire track King? She's like a reverse that's on the belly. Where the tire track should be underneath the snake, not on top of it. Um, yeah, she is beautiful and I love her to bits. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. So this is Milkshake, the Banana King Snake. Look at the size difference between Little Milk Snake and a Big Boy Hunter. As much as the Little Milkshake would like to eat him. Of course, Milkshake here, the King Snake, is a snake eater. And um, they eat, they actually eat venomous snakes in the wild. They eat rattlesnakes. It's a pretty cool fact about this little worm here. Well, eventually she gets to about four, they get to about four foot have been known to get to six foot, but that's quite rare in them. 
But yeah, so if I get about four foot out of her, I will be extremely happy. If she gets bigger, I'll be even happier because she is stunning. Do you imagine that snake about six foot long? Will be absolutely beautiful. Um, just a quick shout out to you guys to Scott Invert. I was on a live stream of his earlier on in the week and um, it was great fun. If you've got a spare couple of hours, head over to Scott's Inverts and watch that um, live stream. It was good fun. We got some good topics covered and all that. It was really good fun. Um, of course, give him a subscribe, Scott's Inverts. Scott is a lovely guy, absolutely fantastic guy. Um, just want, loves the, he loves the exotic animal world, he loves the community and all that kind of stuff, so he deserves some love. So if you haven't already, head over to Scott's Inverts on YouTube, I'll put the link in the description below. Hit the like button on his page if you haven't already, of course. He has a lot more subscribers than I have, but if we can help him out with some more, if you're interested in some spider stuff and invert stuff, he's the boy to go and see. I'm going to try and do a live stream on the YouTube page next Thursday. If it doesn't work, of course, it'll be on the, the usual place, on the Facebook page. But I'm going to try and work out how to do a live stream on the YouTube channel uh, next Thursday. So, guys, I hope you love that as much as I love this little snake, because he's cool. She's cool, sorry. I should have said that um, Milkshake here is a girl. I don't know if I already said that. Well, I'll see when I'm editing if I've said that. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. As always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, especially that subscribe button. If you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're, uh, we're gonna do a 500 subscribers giveaway. We've got people talking about donating stuff for the giveaway when we hit 500 subscribers. I want to try and organize getting stickers made up. If you guys know of a good place to get stickers made up, you know, for like Bavarian windows or Bavarian doors or whatever like that, um, Give me a shout, give us a comment in the comment section and let me know. So like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace. King snake. Milkshake the... Milkshake the banana king snake. No matter how you put that, it sounds amazing. Milk snake, king snake. Um, milk snake. <laughs> Jesus, it's a tongue twister. It's about the eighth time I've tried to take this now. This, this is probably going to go in bloopers at the end. Milkshake, the banana king snake. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Play with that at home. It's awesome.